I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Ms. Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. That might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. That's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. God, you are such a downer. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Let's discuss something else. Ready. 
I want to know more Do about you. Do you have a specific you. inquiry? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific you. inquiry? What do you do about I the ship? I call it... I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields. Or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the Navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the Helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard.
Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. You can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega.
But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Morden Solus. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer? Mind your own damn business. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face.
You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. We can use this. is pointless, human. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've gotta get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. The area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. 
That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Loud and clear. Going to ground. Gotcha. Staying close. Don't shoot. They're cleared to come in. Good luck in there. Blue suns and vultures shooting anything that moves. We've been spotted. Right in the eye! Guess they just left the dead in the streets. Great control at its most basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solace. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> Damn it! Damn you! Damn. Hey, stay with me! This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. <gasps> oh! You... You help me! Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your 
words sound sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <coughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> You were talking about Vorcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread Vorcha the Vorcha are immune to disease. Besides, sorry, human. You may I should go. Goodbye, you.
Right. Take me position. Stand up. Sons have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. No funny business once you're in the clinic. Unless you want to deal with those Max. We're down here. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Morton saved my life. Professor, we're running low on some toxin. Use melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in the terrains. Supplement with butemerol. Now near an butemerol. Senesine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Expensive domestic. Do understand. Inconsistent results. Demazine, better option. No, no, no. Demazine, toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Professor Morden Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in the back. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. No. No, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Relax, Morden. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar, but must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. 
Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Let's head for the environmental plant.
tell you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The Professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fans. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Control system is in an alley. 
alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Cure's locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. <laughs> 